Alright, Resident Evil Zero, props. Not this stupid lever puzzle. I mean, this isn't hard, but, you know, what's coming up after this soon. Um, originality. Uh, sometimes when you make something, like a piece of media, you have to try new things, um, you know, that are original, that people might not necessarily like. Now, you know, I might sound like a hypocrite here when I'm about ready to bring up in Resident Evil 8 about how these likings are generic, uninspired, it's kind of like tried and true bullshit, and the bug ladies and all that bullshit it's 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 real articulated and designed specifically to get you to be like boom bang wow and then forget about it like after a week the game's come out but if you told me on paper that somebody was going to put the fucking t-virus into some monkeys like primates and you're going to have them as an enemy in a zombie game resident evil I, I don't think i'd like it on paper but it's the kind of thing that it's like if done right pretty damn, you know, it's pretty damn good. They're aggressive, they're fucking relentless, they're tough to deal with, they swarm you, they come in different sizes, designs, and colors, like, there's actual variety here, you can tell that they gave a shit. Also, up, up, down, up, up, what, ter what a terrible puzzle. But you can tell that they, like, really gave a shit. Um, and I, I died to him already, I ain't gonna try to play this with one hand right now, I think the cutscene does it justice with Rebecca here for, like, how much detail they really fucking put into this enemy. They're like, you know what? We're really going to make these monkeys cool. This game does spiders well. The leeches are weird, but it's cool. The scorpion boss is nifty. Um, yeah, right here. What the fuck? I had no idea. I had no idea I was coming. That's badass. I've never gotten this far before. Now, why the floor gives away here kind of bullshit, but it, whatever. It's an old place, you know? It's an old dungeon. It just make sense. Time for a cutscene after a fucking tense moment. I mean, that's just that, that's just bad directing, but this does cover up a lot of nice backstory between Birkin and uh, Albert. It, it's pretty cool to be able to see a lot of clarification, cool to see them work together, kind of shoot the shit. And Birkin's like, no, I must work on the G-Virus, and Wesker's like, uh, do what you want, bro, but uh, I'm doing this cool mansion trick. Well, just basically to cut this short. Calm down, girl. I got you. I got you. you Bill, Billy's a tank, bro. But, uh, yeah. Let's do this shit, man.